right there guys for the AR right there right there guys it's still beautiful not super chrome but I got them heck yeah yo welcome back to the channel guys it's your boy Mike Fan and today we are going to be talking about King Salmon so yep I don't know about you guys but I am super hyped as you can see on my uh, introduction those were the salmon that I caught last year um, during lockdown during quarantine so I decided to document my trips um, that was how I made my introduction into the YouTube community so thank you guys for watching the videos especially my original subscriber who's been following along ever since I want to thank you guys for watching my videos so yeah July 16th, 2021 is the opener for the salmon season here in the Sacramento region. So I just want to talk about some of the gear and the lures that I use to catch them. And yeah, I hope it's going to be a good run, guys, because they're predicting it might be a bad run because of the drought that we're in, the water temperature, and poor water management. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it's going to be a good run. And if you guys are going to go out there on the opener date, I'll pray for you guys. I hope you guys catch and no skunk, you know what I mean? So um, I'm probably going to be a little late because I'm going to be working, but I'm definitely going to be out there this season. So pretty sure most of you guys are going to run into me out there. So if you guys run into me, don't be shy. Just say what's up. <laughs> um, I'm a little different from everybody else. I like to use a bass rod. I use um, this rod right here. This is the one that I caught all my salmon on last year was this rod right here. It's a seven foot St. Croix Premier. Um, on a Shimano SLX XT and I was running 12 pound test line. Yes guys 12 pound test line man I caught that 22 uh, pound salmon on 12 pound test line. <laughs> so uh, played them for 25 minutes with this rod right here uh, Had my drag set um, Pretty decent it wasn't too tight. It was actually pretty loose because you know I felt the tension on the line did not want that thing to snap. It was such a thrill I had a lot of fun and this rod right here it's a moderate action so you want to have something that has a pretty good uh good tip on there so this one has a really good flex as you can see so you don't want to use like an extra fast rod to catch um salmon although i did catch one on my nrx <laughs> you know what i mean so it's doable but if you're going to run light line like i am you definitely want to have something like this with the moderate tip right here but most guys are going to be running an 8 foot 6 to a 9 foot 6 rod. That is the typical uh, rod length for a salmon rod. Um, a medium light on a spinning model, I think. And then a uh, medium heavy if you're going to be doing a casting model. So yeah, those are some recommended uh, rod length for you guys. Um, if you're new into the game, um, I recommend two rods for a good uh, budget friendly. Uh, you, you don't want to invest too much money into a rod that you, know, um, that you might not even use much. So uh, my favorite rod I would go to would be uh, two rods by Okuma. Number one would be the Celilo, eight foot six, nine foot six, doesn't matter. First salmon I ever caught was on that rod. Uh, it's like 50 bucks, $60. If you can find them, you can find them at Walmart or even uh, Fisherman Warehouse, but they're always sold out. So if you can find them, uh, definitely pick up that rod. It's a really good rod for the for the price. And also the SST model, it's like, a, like, like the burnt orange color one. That's also a really good rod for salmon for a budget friendly price. It's, I think it's like 79, 80 bucks or something like that. You might even find them for 65, 69, I think, depending on the action and the length of it but those are two rods that i recommend for you to um to get started with uh salmon fishing um if you're going to be running a spinning setup i would recommend uh 2500 at least now nah, 2500 is a little, a little light let's go 3000 <laughs> you want to use a 3000 size spinning reel and then for casting i would recommend like a 150 size to a 200 size bait caster so yeah that's what i recommend for rods and reel uh, for line, I just run this guy right. Well, I don't run this guy, uh, but I'll be running this guy this year. It's just a floral clear. I always run floral clear. I never had a problem with it. It's it's not that expensive and it does the job. You know what I mean? It's half. It's a copolymer, so it's half um, monofilament and uh, it has a floral carbon coating on it. So it's really good. Um, you know, 
uh, to use. I like that. I like to run uh, P line tactical and Sunline sniper FC as well. So those are going to be my three lines that I'm going to go to that I like to use. And also, um, if you're going to run mono, I recommend uh, P line uh, CXX. It's a really good strong line. Uh, definitely get the job done um, for a decent price. So I wouldn't wouldn't count that guy out. And even just the trialing big game you get from Walmart. First time I ever caught was off a of trialing big game. You know, so. You don't have to spend too much money on on that type of stuff. You know, I'd rather spend money on on the uh, on on the lures, the spinners, because they're going to be quite expensive. You know, so my favorite lures is going to be this guy right here, guys. Uh, the Flying Sea right here. This exact color, silver blade orange body right here so everybody uh go out and buy it now because after i post this video they're gonna be sold out <laughs> yeah sorry guys everyone's gonna hate me now because they're like damn it i can't find none of the orange flying sea so i got a handful of them from last year still so i'm not worried about it and then this guy right here the um meps long cast you know this one has the all metal body too and the treble hooks a lot better on this one and it's it's made to cast farther so uh yeah i actually cast really far with this one right here and then last year, Silvertron introduced a bank uh, bank version for the, us bank fishermen, the Silvertron Rocket right here. This one, I actually haven't caught a salmon with this one yet. I've seen uh, plenty of other fishermen catch it with this, catch it with this um, lure, but I have not. So uh, I know it works though, but it has a really big blade on there. So with it spinning, uh, you're going to get tired faster because it, it has a lot of vibration. The action on this guy, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a serious blade, dude. The rocket, it's, it's no joke. <laughs> but, you know, if you're going to be fishing for 20, 30 minutes, I'll throw this guy right here because it gets the job done. And, you know, if you got that energy, you might as well put, it on, put that time and energy into this guy right there. But... If you guys didn't know, um, I don't have a blue fox. A blue fox is a really popular, I recommend number four, five, and a six blue fox uh, out here in the Sacramento River. So uh, you might have to run a leader and a, and a weight above it, depending on the area that you're fishing. Cause salmon, they like to hang around the bottom. So you wanna try to get it as low without snagging as possible. But uh, for the blue fox, I made my own version of it this year. So. I haven't even tested it out yet, but this is my own version of the Blue Fox right here. I made it. It has a, a red bell body with a Swarovski crystal on a single hook with a silver blade. So I can't wait to try it out. Hopefully I can catch one off of this one right here. Custom made by myself. And then I made a treble version of it, as you can see right there. So this one has two red beads and a Swarovski crystal on the bottom and then a treble hook on the bottom with a silver blade right there. So it's my version of the uh, the blue fox. I'm gonna call it the red fox. <laughs> and then uh, I got my own version of the flying C too. I'm gonna call this one the flying knee <laughs> for, uh, uh, for you MMA fans out there. Who, what you guys know about the uh, the flying knee right there. This is it right here, I made my own. This is a single hook version right there on an all metal body. And it comes with the red bead and the Swarovski crystal on silver blade too. So some of the problems that I have with the Flying C is the skirt, it always comes off. So this one's an all metal body and it's painted. So I don't have to worry about, about the skirt, losing the skirt right here. So that's my own version of that one that I made. And I got another one that I made right here, a treble hook version. Right there has a uh, treble hook and then the all metal body and then I got two chartreuse beads on the top with a silver blade as well. So like I said, I love the orange and the silver. That's my favorite um, combination right there. So I made my own version. So the goal is to catch it off my own lures first. If, if they all fail, then I'm going back to the Mets. So that's my game plan for this year. <laughs> but other than that, I just wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, what I use to catch them and, uh, you know, I got a top secret one right here, guys. So I don't know if I should tell you guys all my secret yet. You know, maybe for just my subscribers. But this one right here will never fail right here. Boom. The Kitech, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Don't use the Kitech, guys. 
I'm just joking around. That, that one's a joke. I'm just playing. But there are plenty of other lures out there that work. Those are my favorite ones right there. So those ones right there, when I'm casting, I feel confident right there. So salmon are really hard to catch. So when I, I'll, if I'm going to be doing time, I want to put time into something that I know that works. You know, so those are the ones that I have success with. And I'm sharing with you guys right there. But other than that, that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a good run this season as well. Uh, I might be doing a, another rod giveaway later in the season but we'll see how that goes for now but i'll keep you guys posted on that it might be a competition so we'll see how that goes but other than that man uh please hit the like hit the subscribe good luck out there in the water guys keep it clean as always and uh best best of luck out there and i hope we all have a great successful uh season out there and i'll see you guys out there all right peace